Welcome back, guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. The latest release of Buster is wreaking havoc on ham radio operators. Today, I'm going to show you what the problem is and how to resolve it. Stick around, and we'll get right to it. A huge shout-out to these guys. They're my latest patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. If you download the latest version of Buster, that's the one dated uh, May 2020. It's actually uh, May 27th, 2020. It may cause issues for you with your sound card and cause various things to stop functioning on your Raspberry Pi. Let's take a look at what's happening and then let me show you guys how to fix it because it can mess up several different things on your system. Okay, so I'm on my Raspberry Pi test box that's loaded up with the very latest version of Raspbian. And I am uh, currently do not have a sound card hooked up to this. So let's run a command, a play space hyphen L. And let's take a look at these results. You'll see here we have card zero listed and we also have card one listed. Well, here's the problem. In the past, before this latest version, everything would always be listed as card one until we plugged up our sound device. So let me go ahead and plug the USB sound card up, and I want to show you guys those results after the card is plugged up. Now I'm going to leave uh, this window open here. I'm just going to open another terminal window so we can compare those results side by side. And I'm going to run that same command, a play space hyphen L. Now you notice the difference here. You will see right here, my USB audio device is connected. Well, it got assigned card two. So if we don't go in and make some changes to our setups, then uh, things are not going to work. Uh, one of those is Direwolf. Uh, and the other one is the RDOP modem. Both of those applications have the sound card information hard-coded into them. So let's take a quick look at Direwolf right here. Let me get this opened up. I'm going to scroll down roughly to line 70. I think it's line 69 on the configuration file. Now guys, this only applies uh, if you're running one sound card with your setup. If you're running multiples, then uh, you're going to have to do some other adjustments to this as well, but I suspect it's going to mess up your settings. But right here in the Direwolf configuration file, you'll see this line, a device, and then we give it a space, and then it's plug hw colon one comma zero. Well, this one comma zero has to match up with your sound card. So in this particular case, the card number is 2 and 0. So in order to make Direwolf work, we would need to change this to be 2 comma 0 and then save that information out. Now, here's where things really get kind of uh, sideways with us. What I'm going to do, I'm going to leave the sound card plugged up and I'm just going to go ahead and reboot the system. I'll be back with you guys as soon as this reboot completes. Okay, so now that the Pi has rebooted, let's go ahead and open that terminal again, and let's run the A play space hyphen L one more time. This time, our USB audio device has been assigned card number one. So even though I just updated Direwolf and changed it to card two because I left the card plugged in and did a reboot, it got a new card number. So again, if we go and try to operate Direwolf, we're going to have a failure. Now guys, this will also apply to JSA Call. This is going to apply to WSJTX. This is going to apply to FL Digi. Any digital mode that's going to use the sound card, we're gonna have to reconfigure. Now I am working on uh, a, a solution for Direwolf and for uh, the RDOP modem for those that are running Pat Menu 2. That solution is not quite ready yet, 
but I did kind of want to get this information out there as quick as possible because it is uh, creating problems for a lot of different people. So I did show you guys how to change that setting in the direwolf file uh, real quickly. Let's just recap that. Uh, that is in your home directory. So if you click on your home folder right here, you'll find your direwolf.comp file. Open that up and come down. It should be on line uh, 69 or 70, that uh, A device setting. Now let me show you how to fix that inside of Pat Menu. So I'm going to just go ahead and open up Pat Menu. I'm going to come over to the settings and config and we're going to go ahead and click on the current config settings. Here's your RDOP command right here. This is what gets run when we start the RDOP modem. What you'll need to do, you'll see that same plug HW 1,0. So you'll need to check your sound card and if it is set at uh, card number two, we'll need to change this information here from 1,0 to 2,0 or 2,0 rather. And we have to do it in both places. Once we've done that, we can simply hit update and that will save our settings. We will be good to go. So hopefully this will help you guys out that's having issues with your sound cards uh, if you are running the absolute latest and greatest Buster version that's dated May 2020. All right, guys. Well, I hope you found this information useful. Be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head off and we will see you guys on the next video. Until then... 7-3.